How's it going guys? Just want to show you a quick video. Um, I put some LED lights or I'm in the process of putting some LED lights in my plow. Uh, what better than LED lights for out in the middle at three o'clock in the morning for some for some good visibility in the middle of a snowstorm. So um, I got this idea completely on my own. Um, I definitely didn't watch countryside um, countryside vlogs or i don't know what his uh, channel name is he changes it every week so countryside whatever countryside lawn countryside vlogs whatever it is i definitely didn't watch uh his video on led lights uh and get any ideas at all i completely came up with this on my own um so just to show you a difference before i change out the other one hopefully it shows up on camera uh it's literally night and day as you can see the one on the left is like a yellow nasty crappy you know uh, it, uh, amazing difference you can see how nice and bright and uh and white that that led makes a difference um i'll stick a link to the ones that i bought uh, that fit these plows because you have to be careful on the uh the back side some of these led bulbs uh a some of them have like a working fan that spins around uh, that i didn't want i wanted to have one that had a, a heat sink without a fan um, these are supposedly, I believe they call them waterproof, but they're certainly water resistant. I think they call them waterproof. I think in the ad they showed them going right under, uh, right under water, um, and they're going to be fine. So these are the ones here. They're called Beam Techs. All right, and for the Fisher Minute Mount Two light style setup, like I have here, um, this is the one. They're H13 bulbs. Uh, yeah, there you go. Beam Tech LED light kit. There's the. Uh, in case you don't want to use the link that I put up there, there's your actual uh, part number. And uh, these are the lights here. Very simple, just as easy to change as a bulb. Uh, these seem like really good quality units. Um, but like I said, you got to be careful uh, as far as the clearance goes, because you only have so much room in the back of this, um, the back of this uh, plastic housing. As you can see inside there, when you close this up, you don't have much clearance in there at all. Figured it's a simple process nobody really needs to watch a video on how to change bulbs but in this particular application i know there's a lot of people out there with these fisher plows and there's a lot of bulbs that you could end up buying that would not fit that would be the wrong ones and plus it's nice to get a good idea of the difference in the light before i change the other one out but that's all there is to it is this these two screws and then it just hinges on the other side take off the back and then it's just plug and play just turn it right in and like i said there you go nice bright white now that's on low beam the high beam and the low beam is all in the same bulb on these so it's not a separate bulb so you get led high and low beams at the same time when you get this so let me see if we can hopefully that shows up on camera but at night it would be a huge difference maybe i can get it's really hard to to videotape light at night because the camera usually adjusts accordingly uh, the brighter it is the more the camera is going to dull it out so it's really hard to tell for sure but i'll give you a little update on this and let you know uh you know if i, I know they're going to be great but it's just a question of how much brighter they are judging by what i'm seeing down here they're going to be quite a bit brighter so but yeah uh beam tech these are the ones i got them right on amazon i forgot how much they were i don't think they were that much money i want to say 40 bucks somewhere in that neighborhood but if you click on the link you'll see it's this, i'll give you the same link to the one that i the ones that i purchased um, i also put some new uh lights on the truck i got some leds in there uh, and i also changed out the light housings because they were all worn just really trying to get better lighting because the lighting that was on this truck was horrible and here's the first uh, first take on the wheels on the truck here. I don't know if I showed you guys these yet, maybe on Instagram. American Force 22 by 10s. I picked them up used, uh, like new, with uh, like new tires on them. Um, these are Toyo Proxies, which are really good grip. More, they're a street tire. You know, I understand it's a truck and it's a street tire, uh, but I do 99% uh, drive on the road. Uh, that's what I do. Uh, pulling the camper, uh, you know, pulling the lawn trailer around, and um, the the whole idea is, I'm not putting a mud a mud tire or all terrain or anything aggressive and listening to a loud tire when I'm pulling that camper, you know, hundreds and you know, if not thousands of miles. 
So I needed a nice, good, stable road tire. And uh, these so far have been really, really good. Um, they have a directional pattern on them, but the wheels are very blingy. Some people may not like them. Um, you know, they may not have been my first choice if I was ordering them. I was trying, I was thinking about going with black. I was going to go with the black outlook. Uh, but now that I see them on here, I'm glad that I went with these. I mean, this truck's got the chrome bumper. It's got the, you know, the chrome emblems, chrome grill. You know, the headlights have the chrome surround them. Front, front is chrome. So I think that's a kind of a good match. You know, it could go either way in this truck. You could go with a blackout or the shiny look. So, but I saved a good amount of money off new. And these things were literally like new. They were just put on for, I think, a day and taken back off again. And uh, these are the forged wheels. They're very, very, very expensive. I think they're like $500 a wheel if you order these. These are not cheap. They're made out of one solid piece of aluminum, uh, forged aluminum. And they're, uh, you know, machined right out of that. And then uh, these are all, we're all balanced, ready to go. Unbelievable smoothest silk on the highway. Um, I also upgraded my shocks. Told you in a prior video that I was doing that. I got the KYB Mono Maxes in here. Uh, you know, and then we got that steering stabilizer right in there and then we got the new uh well no the steering stabilizer in the uh what is it the steering box stabilizer and the track bar bushing so those are all the things i've done to the front end oh and the uh supreme suspensions two inch lift to level it to level off the front of the truck so this is stock height uh with the two inch uh leveling kit in the front and these are 33 tires i believe or 305s which are the same as 33s where's it says yeah 305 45 305 45 22s on 10 inch wheels and the back spacing uh or the offset was i want to get this right i believe it was plus 45 uh which d does make these stick out a little bit it's not too too bad um, I did want them to, it's actually probably perfect. That's about just where I want it. And believe it or not, it doesn't seem to be splattering up too much stuff on the truck, which I thought it might, because I have these flares, which help out a little bit. But now this video turned into a truck video. But anyways, yeah, so there's the headlights. Click the link if you want to buy these same ones. Uh, very nice quality. They're like heavy, solid, solid aluminum build. They're supposed to last for 50,000 hours, basically, the rest of the time you'll have this plow so i'll never have to worry about a light going out hopefully and uh hopefully i'll have some much better visibility in the next storm all right guys thanks for watching just wanted to add the finished look with both of the lights um and one other benefit that i didn't mention at the beginning of this video is led lights uh, require a good deal less of power consumption than like your halogens or your typical bulbs that you would have in the car uh, and the reason that is great is when you're plowing especially with these uh, electronic plows nowadays that have such a high demand on your alternator and then you've got your heater and your windshield wipers and your your flashy beacon and your radio and all this stuff going uh any less power that you can consume off of your alternator is the the longer your alternator is going to last and uh the less chance that your battery is going to go dead so there's the leds in the boy it's barely even showing up on camera the leds in the truck almost looks like they're not on in this camera picture but they're super bright too those are a different ones uh different than the beam tech brand that i put in there uh, but again, like I said, any any drain, any less drain that you can you can add to your uh, alternator is definitely a benefit when you're out on those long nights, uh, you know, plowing and using up battery left and right. All right, guys.